Hey folks, Tony here again from Rebel Financial. So thank you for joining me. Today I want to talk about how you can find out how much you're going to get from Social Security in retirement um, and the numbers that that is based off of, okay? It used to be that they would send you a statement every year if you were a working adult, but that stopped in 2011. And now they only send a statement to you once you hit 60 years old. Um, unless you've already signed up for it online, in which case you can get the PDF. So well, let me take you through this real quick. So what you want to do is go to ssa.gov, okay? And you'll see this page here. Um, we are going to hit the sign in up button, but that's ultimately going to take us down here to my social security. So when we click that, what that is going to look like is this page here. Um, and you're just going to, if you haven't logged in before, if you have, you can simply go here. But if not, you'll create an account right here. And it's a pretty easy process. They're going to ask you some questions. But once you get through it one time, save your password and username, and then you'll be able to check back in. So now I want to show you why it is important to see um, to, why you need to, to, to check in periodically, at least once a year. But anyway, so what you're going to see in this statement, and this is a sample statement for, for Wanda here from the beginning of the year from 2021, uh, but it's already been updated, but this is the most recent sample one they have. So the first thing she's going to see is how much she would get at full retirement age. And full retirement age is a moving target depending on what your age is. So when you go to the second page here, you're going to see exactly what that means. For her, Full retirement age is 67 years old. And when she hits 67, she's going to get $2,061 a month if that's when she signs up to take her Social Security payment. If she does it at 62, you can see a greatly reduced amount of 1426 From the age of 62, if she didn't take it to the age of 70, you can see how much. This is like an 80% increase in her monthly payment. Only about 2% of people wait till 70. It's not best for everybody, but in many people's cases, if they could somehow hold off as long as they can, and they're going to live a long life, it will you know, prove to be a good benefit for them down the road, a much bigger one than they would have. So, but as you take a deeper look here, you're also going to see the disability family and survivors, what they would get as well as Medicare. Uh, but it's, it's this page here that's also important because you can see Wanda has all of her earnings since 1977 listed here. And this is why it's important because you want to make sure that they are basing this figure off of what you did make in those years. And of course, if too many years go by, you're not going to have a clue whether it was right or not. And if it's wrong, then you want to get a hold of the Social Security Administration and correct it. OK, now this number, a lot of people would say that this is not um, a truly accurate number. And it's not going to be because they are basing the future years off of like a progression of what you've been making. In, in many people's cases, they may pull back from work, they may get promotions and things like that. So what we do as financial advisors, we have actually have a secondary software uh, that we use that helps us better with projections. But still, as a starting point, this is a good place. So I hope this helps. Um, you know, subscriptions are always appreciated. If you hit the like button, that's great. But if you have any questions or comments, put them below or reach out to us. We're always happy to help, okay? In the meantime, thank you. And until next time, take care.